Alright, we got the dead carcass of a, of a Bulbasaur. Oh. Actually, I guess it's more of an Ivysaur. Hey, Bildo, get a load of that. Someone put a Minecraft beacon on that place. Go on, Bildo. Plant the light bulb. I'm pretty sure that actually is an item in Pokemon. Whatever, who cares. Bildo gently presses the light bulb into the soft soil. Oh. It's magic! Or radioactive. Either one. Oh, Fatal Six, we've really gone and done it this time. The Master of Destruction is sure to strike us down. Master of Destruction? What the heck's that? The guy I'm looking at. What? Have you really heard never heard of the Master of Destruction? Does that mean that you don't know of the Children of Harkin either? I see, so you weren't just playing dumb. You really don't know about the evils of building. You've been talking about cross purposes this whole, this whole time. Let me explain. Everyone in Furrowfield follows the teachings of the High Priest Harkin, handed down to us by the, his illustrious children. On this island, building isn't only forbidden, it's a serious sin. How did society even form if building is seen as a sin? Rosie! Rosie! Uh-oh. We're in a whole heap of trouble here. The pass is on his way over here. He must have seen he must have seen a lot from the tree. Huh. Hey Builder, look. <laughs> da 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 da. Mm, I say. Mm. Alright, was okay, I got the perfect voice for this guy. What in the name of Hogan is happening here? I like it. I know. It's old man Sassafras. Who planted this tree? Answer me, faithless wretches. I did. What what what? Building a farm, you say? Heresy! How dare you sully my island with a sinful stain of creation? You'll pay dearly for this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The fields and the cabbages are my idea. Don't punish Builder just because he's a builder. A builder? This witless looking whelp? Wait, this tree. Could it really be? Could it really be what? If you know something about it, spit it out. I just want Maros to raise hell any moment now. He's he's ready for it. If I'm not mistaken, this is a young deer tree, the sacred sentinel of the Furrowfield Forest. Beneath those blessings boughs, those blessed boughs of the island once flourished. Hmm. Hear me, my wayward vassals. I've had a change of heart. See, brainwash. Bildo has worked his way to him already. He might be. I've seen the fruits of your labors, and I've decided to give, forgive your sins. My superiors need not know of your abhorrible indiscretion. I will keep your secret so as long as you keep this tree, but should it dwindle and die, then so shall you. Grow the tree? But I don't really know how to. You need not worry on that account, my child. Furrowfield's most ancient legends tell of exactly what one must do to a deer tree to grow tall and strong. Harvest cabbages. First, you must harvest 15 cabbages. Furrowfield was once a far famed for a second in cabbages. I trust that you can live up to these expectations. Should you lack sufficient seeds, I suggest you seek out more yourselves. You must harvest 50 sheaves of wheat. The people on Forest Field once enjoyed a wide range of food, and wheat formed a cornerstone of many delicious dish. You must find a need to travel afar to find the seeds you need. You must till 50 blocks of earth. Forest Field was once a farmer's paradise, with fields stretching out as far as the eye can see, and no farm can operate without plowed soil. Fifty squares must suffice. If you're gonna find enough clean soil, I recommend you find some means of making more. I won't help you without with making any of this. You gotta, you gotta do it yourselves. I have heard of the so-called deer tree. If, if it was a mighty magical tree that protected all life on Furrowfield or something, they say. Mm. That's true. We can, we can. If that's true, and if we can really grow a new deer tree, then we might be able to bring light and life back to the island after all. Hold on. A creepy monster turns up out of the blue, and suddenly you're going with everything he says. What makes you think he can be trusted? Mm, we have a live one, I see. 
with the synth rifle. We have a lot of one, I see. Such a spirited soul make a fine offering to the master of destruction. I told you he's right there. Don't make a fuss, Malroth. We're not, the, we're not in a position to argue here. You too, Bildo. I can't do this without you. Please say that you'll help us grow the idea tree and bring for a field farm back to life. All right, sure. Yippee! Thank you, Bildo. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Hmm, a wise decision, young Bildo. I should you lose sight of your goal. I will bid you not speak with me once more. Oh, bid you will speak. Okay. I don't know where we're gonna get wheat seeds to plant any more earth to till, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. Let's concentrate on growing the cabbages for now. If y'all work together, we'll have the task done in no time. Let the mission begin. Harry. I never expected in the past to appear out of the blue like that. Scared living daylights out of me, so it did. On top of that, it turned out to be interested in that tree you planted. Why do you not believe all the children of Hargan rubbish anyway? Look at your pastor. He's dressed like someone's grandmother. To tell you the truth, I've never been given much thought before. I've been built happen to believe it since I was long as I can remember. That's just the way it is. It's always been. Oh, but before I forget, Builder, have you tried eating one of those cabbages you harvested? You're going to be growing a good, big old pilot of things. So might as well know just how delicious they are. All right. I guess I am hungry. I was very happy about that. I'm very gra grateful for it. Yeah, I wanted to think cabbages, didn't you? I mean, you were right in front of me, but I, I guess it's, I guess you did. Okay, whatever. He's just telling us how to eat. So, David, what do you think of the things transpired so far? So far, so tutorial. Wait, what do you think of this guy right here? Mm, he seems fun. Right now, he's my favorite. You like this guy? Yeah. You, you like this guy. I guarantee it. Don't hurt him. All right. I know how you betrayed this uh, I won't hurt him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bildo. The girls of this is ruined farm. I had my doubts of the whole plan, and the last thing I expected was to meet a builder here. Still, I expect there must be some advantages to someone having someone like you around. For instance, you can make buildings, can you not? Perhaps you have already noticed the large red door in the field. Okay, he wants us to make a bedroom. Okay, softwood and floorboard blocks. Alright, what is this does he need? Okay... Star bidding and a light source. Alright, we can do that. Builder can do that. Oh shit. It's actually nightfall, so that's... That's actually not very good. So once nightfall comes, there actually might be some monsters that appear and try to kill us. That's not good. That's it's, it's like Minecraft. Like Minecraft. You, you played Minecraft before, right? We need some action. It's okay. It's okay. Got it. I've got it all under control. You should show the viewers what happens when Bildo dies. It's okay. Bildo ain't gonna die. Malroth won't let that happen. I trust Malroth. Malroth trusts me. We'll always have each other's trust. Let's give these tasks a shot. If nothing else, we'll learn how to grow ourselves with some green here back in the wild of awakening. Sure hope Lulu wasn't dead right now. She knows how to cook for herself, right? Meanwhile, just a vulture pecking at her corpse. <laughs> oh, Lulu. You gotta stop hating Lulu, David. Lulu will save you. Well, Lulu is gonna be the savior of the planet. Is that what you're predicting? Yep. I'm calling it. Then, uh, is that right? You'll see. Well, it's a good thing the monsters haven't attacked yet. I bet nothing bad will happen while, before I finish this house. I want to see monsters. It might. I don't... I don't know where they are. It's supposed to be coming here. Oh, uh, sorry, we actually need some bedding and a light source. That's right, the most important thing about making a bedroom. Uh, shit, we need to kill slimes. Oh no. And I need dry grass. Alright. There's some slime over here by the beach. Alright. So whenever you leave the town, Malworth will go with you. Because he doesn't want to leave his builder buddy behind. He doesn't want Builder to die. Alright. Eh. I think these will give us... 
He'll give us the things, right? I feel bad whenever I kill slimes. Sure you do. Of course I do. I love slimes. The game just makes me kill them. Eh. Alright, we got oil. It's any dry grass, that's right. There we go. And now we can finish making the thing. Oh, you know what? We could probably could have just used this campfire. Whoops. You know what? Let's oh, I already had a bed too. Well, shit. Use the campfire for what? As a light source. Oh. Alright, a small room. Might we'll go here. And here are some beds. And now we've made a bedroom. Alright. Oh, blistering baboons builder. Look at this bedroom. It's better than I ever imagined it would be. They don't really have the brightest imaginations, do they? Now we need not wander about in the monster of infested dark of the night. We can sleep in the safety of this room and well wake well rested in the morning. Why, with the builder on board, I could I could not we need not stop at a single bedroom. We could have houses, hot food, happiness. I can finally be happy in my miserable life. It settles it. My days of pandering to the children of Algon are over. I shall lead those fin fanatics to become become a builder. Tonight, together, we shall bring life back to Furrowfield. Alright. Got it. Build, oh my boy. I understand your need of seeds. Okay. You got some for us? Found those in his beard. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh shit, monsters! Here they are! Fight. Yeah. Okay, but this one came out like late, so. He'll get hurt by the sun. That's oh, yeah. Alright, so now he's gonna teach us about decorations. Alright, so. You can actually put decorations in a, in a bedroom to increase the fanciness. And I don't have enough for this. I need stone. Yeah, there should be some around here. Also, where's the music? I know there should be music somewhere. Make music. This this is like battle music. You need farming. Oh, there's the music. Okay. <laughs> Delayed. All right. Too late for my Stardew Valley music. Put that there, and that there. Now it's a small farmer's bedroom. Oh, that's amazing! That's more like it, the smell of firewood, the rustic ambience of the farming equipment. That was a fine idea indeed, if I suit it myself. But I noticed the bedroom became a farmer's bedroom. With just a few key additions, you can make a whole room and a new identity. People using these unique rooms are much happier than if they had lived live in drab, functional cubicles. It will simply overflow with gratitude, if you take my meaning. <laughs> hey, Rosie, nice of you to drop in. This new bedroom is incredible. We're one step closer to getting Furrowfield Farm back on his feet. Indeed, my dear. The next priority must be to find some more healthy soil. You cannot build a farm if there aren't a few measly patches of workable dirt. I had heard tell of a curious tribe that once called the Silent Home. They were capable of turning spoiled soil into clean and fertile earth. But I don't, I not know what can became of them. All right, I don't want your fucking beard food. Would you eat a product called Beard Food, David? Of course. You wouldn't? Oh, I would. Definitely. Oh, you would? Alright. You gotta try new things, Damo. Don't be so close-minded. I mean, yeah. What do you think Beard Food hard. would be? Uh, something dry. Like... Something dry? Yeah. Like, what would it actually be made out of? Mmm... 
maybe a little dandruff, a little, uh, what else? Okay, I don't like this conversation anymore. Oh, come on, Damon. <laughs> See, you're being close-minded I... again. Oh. They work hard to make their beard food, and you're just rejecting it. All right, so while that's growing, I guess we gotta wait for the cabbages to grow to actually advance more of the plot. Let's go out and do some things. Fight. For eh. Yeah, so Malroth will fight for you. He is the best of combat. Never go into battle without Malroth. That's what I always say. Ah! I shouldn't have attacked the slime. Shit. Fight. For this slugs are really annoying. Whoa! Search your dog. We can do it. We can do it. We're doing it. Oh god. I wonder if we can make medicinal herbs yet. I don't think we can. Nope. Our HP recovery needs to come from cabbages. Okay, so out here, you probably noticed this over here. Did you notice this thing, David? Notice. This. Oh. Uh, sure I did. Of course. Alright. There's an expression carved into the strange stone monument. Read it. I leave this, these puzzles as a challenge to any young builder who finds them. May they aid you in your journey to become a master builder. Use your wits and building skills to solve them. You shall be rewarded with treasures and new powers both. Alright. Whoever wrote that, they sound pretty full of themselves. Well, whatever. We might as well give these things a shot and see what happens. Alright. So what you have to do... You have to solve. Basically, most of these are like matching games. Like you got to make one look like the other. This is very simple. Oh God, Malroth, please help! <laughs> that guy's face. He was like, "Oh, he just wanted the builder. to build. That's all." Oh! <laughs> all right, time to die. Oh, whoa! Oh, he doesn't like building. He's trying to lick us. I mean, that's how he shows his gratitude. I don't like being licked. Alright, so for completing, completing these challenges, we get a mini medal. These will be important for something later on. And I know where another one is. It's just right over here. Right over here. Look, there's a Drackey. Or Dracolite. I don't know the difference. I'm not that... I'm not that knowledgeable on Dragon Quest lore, so... You'll have to bear with me on that. How much do you know about Dragon Quest, David? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Is this your first Dragon Quest game, David? Yep. Alright. You should you should definitely play Eleven. I like that game a lot. It seems fun. I like the traditional RPG feel to it. Okay, so that one is solved. That's all we had to do, just unblock the water. Bildo solves the puzzle. Right, give me that mini metal. Mini metal. I think there might be something on the, on top of that pillar right there, maybe? It just looks a little climbable. Yeah, see there's a chest up there. I knew it. Alright, so, this does look like I can climb on it, but you can actually just do this. Hooray for building! <laughs> Malroth just disappeared right there. Oh, Malroth. Hey, Earth. Anything up there? Shit. Eh. Malroth, please help me. Please help me, I'm just a weak little baby builder. Hey! Is that... Okay, now we can make herbs. Alright. That's very nice. Uh, what am I doing? I just, I just climb. Shit. Hold on, I got this. There we go. No pillar stands in the way of Bildo. And there's nothing up here. Shit. Alright. 
shit. Hey, you know what? It's just HP. Who cares? I could just eat cabbage, and it'll all be fine.